Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Today I had the chance to work with Coach Tim. Tim is one of the throws coaches at Indiana Wesleyan University. I've known him a long time and I've worked with him a lot of times and he's a real good guy and actually we're neighbors. Well today he stopped by during my throwing session and he helped me recognize some issues I was having with my throws. One thing to know about me is that I tend to throw far or short. Rarely do I have an average day, and it just seems like it's one or the other. And there's good reasons for this. First, um, I've never been that big or strong compared to discus throwers. Um, so I just can't seem to get away with bad technique. Uh, second, the technical errors I do have uh, really kill the distance of my throws. A good example of that is uh, back in 2011 at the US, U.S. Nationals in Eugene, Oregon. So I was going into that meet. I had, I think, one of the top five throws in the, in the USA with my 64-meter throw. And at that meet, uh, I didn't hit it. And I threw 57 meters um, and got last. Um, and that was pretty rough. Uh, so it's just... Something that I'm trying to work on to improve, um, see if I can be, um, just get better technique, do a better job. Now, uh, today, Tim was able to point out some of the errors um, that, that, I'm, that I'm talking about. First, he realized that I, at the beginning of the throw, right at, right at the beginning movements, uh, when my left foot starts to turn, I'm, I'm letting my hips break or collapse in during those first movements. Typically when I'm doing it poorly, my right foot rotates as my left foot rotates and moves forward, and I lose the tension in my hips. Uh, this causes my left foot to not turn all the way around in the back, which causes my left arm to lead me into the throw, which causes me to crash into the circle, and consequently, my left leg takes forever to come off the ground. Now, uh, when I do it right, I have great tension and feeling in my hips, and it's easy to turn all the way around on my left foot, and consequently, my left foot comes off the ground really fast. <clears throat> the second thing um, that Tim helped me with today was that at the finish of the throw, I was closing up or pulling down as I threw the discus, and, that, and this is standard for me. Um, and it's a pretty big problem because it's, it's bad technique. Uh, he reminded me to stay long, to not force the finish, um, but just to let it be a reaction. So as my, as my left foot comes down, keeping my hips strong, standing up, um, rather than you know crunching in or collapsing and pulling down on the discus. And with that is in doing that, as in you let go of that discus, you know, watching it leave your hand rather than uh, pulling away with your, your left arm and, and having your head fall. So it, it was really useful as uh, Tim stopped by today, and I'm, I'm thankful, and that practice uh, certainly turned out better than uh, it started. Thanks, guys. See you later. Hey, one, one more thing. Um, go to my channel icon and click subscribe to help support my channel. I'd appreciate that. Thanks.